Hi guys, I'm Emma from CMail, and this is the eighth lesson of our Easy Topic One class. Last time we covered how to handle the sixth question type of the listening section, which involves understanding the speaker's main thought. Today's topic will be about the seventh type of question, which requires you to figure out the speaker's purpose or the objective from their statements. Let's get started on page seventy-seven. For questions number 25 and 26, an audio file will be played where you will hear only one speaker. The passage consists of five to six sentences. But since it isn't a conversation, it can be more difficult to concentrate. However, since you actually need to solve two questions related to that single passage, please be careful not to lose your focus. The first question is, 여자가 왜이 이야기를 하고 있는지 고르십시오. 왜? Why? Choose the reason why the woman is saying the following. It asks you to find the objective of the following passage. The second question is, 들은 내용과 같은 것을 고르십시오. Choose the answer that correctly reflects the contents of the passage, which is the same type of problem as question type number 5. So our focus will be on the objective of the passage you hear, the first one. That's our seventh question type for today. For this question type, typically a passage with general content such as an announcement or notice is provided. So let's learn some of the expressions that frequently appear in such public announcements and notices. Generally, the first sentence reveals the target of the announcement or notice. What are some places where such announcements or notices are commonly posted? Let's suppose you're hearing 주민 여러분, 잠시 안내 말씀 드립니다. 주민 means a resident, a person who lives in a certain area like an apartment. So 주민 여러분 is literally like everybody, all you residents. 잠시 안내 말씀 드립니다. I'd like to briefly convey an announcement to you. So the place where this announcement is made may be an apartment building. with the residents as the target audience. How about when you hear 학생회에서 알립니다? Yes, this means that notification is from the 학생회 student council. So it is likely to be in a school where the target audience is the student body. How about the next one? 승객 여러분, 안녕하십니까? 승객 여러분, all our passengers. This greeting should be heard inside a means of transportation like a bus or airplane, where the target audience would be the passengers. In this way, Please try to identify the target audience within the first sentence of the passage. It'll help you to more easily anticipate the keywords that will appear in the sentences that follow. The content of the announcements or notices may change significantly depending on the types of groups and targets and their relationships. In general, however, the purposes of announcements are limited to a few types. Generally, Announcements include information about application methods or application details, such as location, date, and site of application. Some test takers may understand the general content they hear but find it difficult to choose an answer because they do not know the vocabulary presented in the multiple choice options. The multiple choice options in this section typically include a few fixed expressions. 
you can see those expressions here. If you want to know their literal meaning, 알려주다, to inform somebody of something, 말해주다, to tell somebody something, 설명하다, to explain, 소개하다, to introduce, 안내하다, to make something known. So basically, they all have the same meaning, to provide the listener with some information. So when you come across those types of expressions, please just pay attention to the noun part right before the particle, 을를, rather than trying to distinguish the exact meaning of them. So if the options include the sentences such as 신청 날짜를 알려 주려고 and 신청 방법을 설명 하려고 Just focus on the word 신청 날짜 and 신청 방법 and if the passage was about the application date, choose the first one as the answer. And if it was about the application method, then choose the second. You can find more core vocabulary related to this question type on page 78. 대회, contest, 행사, event, 발표회, conference, 관광명소, tourist destination. 신청하다, to apply. 참가하다 or 참여하다 to attend or to participate. 이용하다 to use. 구경하다, 관광하다 which mean almost the same thing to view or to tour. 확인하다 to confirm or verify. 